Hello and welcome to the Assembly Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Marr. It's the last week of March and we've got some big media tech and innovation stories to share with you. And of course, we'll do it in 60 seconds. So let's get into it. Apple's Showtime event gave us so much more than just a TV offering. Sure, they announced Apple TV Plus with an a la carte skinny bundle, an original series with iconic showmakers, but they also dropped the Apple credit card, the Apple News subscription, Apple Arcade for gamers. The only thing they didn't drop was concrete pricing around all of it, which makes us think if they throw iTunes in this mix, did they just come up with a rival product to Amazon's Prime? McDonald's just made a $300 million acquisition of software company Dynamic Yield. They build unparalleled decision logic algorithms, which in short means they know how to personalize a menu. This means when you roll up to a McDonald's kiosk, the menu will change based on time of day, trending items, even restaurant traffic. That's right, they will serve you up an item that's quicker to make just to keep your ass moving. Let's keep flipping some burgers. In Brazil, Burger King just dropped some AR functionality into its app. Users seek out competitors' advertisements, hold up their smartphone, and can burn down the ad in AR to reveal a free Whopper. This is a great AR use case for three reasons. Easy access, the Burger King app already exists. Surprise and delight, it's fun to burn down these ads. Value exchange, you get a Whopper at the end of the user experience. Kudos to you, Burger King. Well, that's all the time we have for the Assembly Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.